So, uh, Chapin, you are our questionnaire. I am. This yeah. week. King. So the question what, king. What questions do you have for Should us have this week? have a crown. For the oh, that's a good idea. Sombrero? By the way, I busted out the sombrero in Oakley's last night. I yeah. do. I look like a douche. Why don't you use the sombrero? Because there was a conversation last night about wearing hats and sunglasses. and Cowboy hats and sunglasses. Yeah. And how you get douche chills. So he wore so his he most ridiculous him. pair of Oakleys and his most ridiculous oversized novelty sombrero. I don't need to prove a picture. Point. I can picture in my head. The yeah. sunglasses you just bought and a sombrero? Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, nailed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just need a pop collar and I want to punch you in the face. Drinking seltzer. <laughs> of course, drinking <laughs> seltzer. It's the only way to do it. You know? <laughs> Chapin, what do you have for us today? Chapin, so yeah, what do you have? Just like last week, I um, thought it was a good idea to start with a current topic, something that came up in the news recently. Um, now, I don't know if you guys saw this or not. I saw it on Twitter myself, but a uh, video went viral. And it kind of split the internet, basically. So that's that's a, a new thing. Is the yeah. internet prepared for that? So I want to get your guys' topic or your your guys' ideas on this topic. So this happened in, in a plane. And there was a passenger in the very back of the plane. So he's basically in a seat that cannot recline backwards. There's a wall directly behind his seat. Okay. All right. Now the seat in front of his seat can fully recline. Um, so. There's not much context with the video, so I don't know what happened before this, but basically, um, the woman sitting in front of the man, so in the the woman that sit, the woman sits in the reclining seat. She reclines all the way back, and it's just a video of the guy. He has his fist in the back of her seat, and he's just like pushing it back and forth and like trying to like annoy her. So now, <laughs> basically, this, this split the internet because they didn't like. Basically, there's okay. Are you a bigger jerk for reclining back into somebody's face who cannot recline backwards anymore, or are you a bigger jerk for actually like punching the back of somebody's seat? These are both fully grown adults too. Mm, that doesn't. Both like probably at least thirty, I would say. I work with fully grown adults that act like children. Right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Has anyone else seen this video? No, no, I've yes, not. I did. Okay, Donnie did. Okay, I, I is Donnie watching it right now? No, I'm I'm looking up because I remember seeing an article about how why she explained what she did, and I wanted to get some context. Right. Because she did explain why, so I wanted to read that before I now. Do you I remember? Have if, already. Now, do but, you remember if she said like, was there a conversation before this happened? Like, yes. did he? Okay. So he like did he politely request her to put her seat back forward? Yes. Or, and so, she was like, <laughs> apparently the context is. He asked her to de-recline her seat so he could eat because he was eating at the time, which she apparently did. Then, once he was done eating, she just decided to flop on back. So then that's when uh, everything went to shit. But she also claims she had a previously existing condition that she had to have neck surgeries and spinal fusions to treat since the incident. Oh. (laughs) I've lost time at work, had to visit a doctor, got x-rays, and have had horrible headaches for a week. All right. Now, I am not a doctor. Sorry. I'd like to make that clear. <laughs> and also, I am not an expert in the martial arts. But I'm going to combine those two you don't have ways that I fail with knowledge, and I'm going to combine them into how I think that she's wrong. <laughs> okay. Because as we've discussed, back of the airplane, no reclining seats. That's Already you have no leg room, no arm room as all. As a, He looks like a, about a six-foot tall man. Yeah. Zero room to move. She's claiming that he was punching her seat in such a way that it doesn't look bad, but it was super forceful. Now, again, I know Bruce Lee was a master of the one-inch punch. Boom. I could knock people back 50 feet. I don't know if you know this. Bruce Lee died, I don't know, at least 10 years ago. This is not Bruce Lee. So I doubt he has the power to really damage your spine through an airline seat such that you would have to have surgeries and miss a week of work. Especially since I saw him tapping the head of the seat. Right. It wasn't. It was more like like he had his hand resting on the back of her seat yeah, and was, was just, just like pushing it back yeah. and forth. It wasn't like an actual strike. Right. So, I grown adults should be able to handle themselves. And if you're a man and you can't handle that, you should probably get a different seat and not fly on that particular airplane. Yeah. That, Find that, a different that My first thing. Hey, can I move? Yeah. I don't want to inconvenience this lady in front of me because the airline has a terrible fucking seating situation. No. Can I move? Mm-hmm. Let's assume that there is no moving. Like there is, every seat is packed. Oh, then totally justifiable what it did. 
Okay. No. <laughs> no, it's not. I would request to switch seats with the uh... pilot. Uh, not the pilot. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I mean, I would try pilot first. I don't think but... their seats recline though. So. Oh, no, that's fine. I don't need to recline if I'm. You know, I got to fly the plane at that point. What am I going to recline uh, for? I, actually, um... yeah, autopilot doesn't work. Oh, no, I'm... they don't. They well, oh, they actually, they do. I think it's mine. My... I think they recline. I think they do recline just the same amount as. All right. We All the other seats. Get a piece. Which one? Seats in a b yeah, pilot, pilot seats. seats yeah. yeah. Oh. I think they do. You know what? Nick? I we'll assume they just have like lazy boys up there and just let the autopilot do Captain everything. Sheriff so those seats, seats, what they yeah. those seats, what they do is they're on tracks, so they go back about like six or eight inches, and then they kick over like four, okay. which allows them to get in between in the, the center aisle stand and their seat, and then they just move it up and over. But those seats are. You know what? Tomorrow I'll well, just have it. Pop a squat, figure it out. Tomorrow I'll just climb into the uh, cockpit of the. Ooh, climb. flight deck. Flight yes. deck. Excuse me. Flight deck. Yeah. Hmm. Flight deck. Correct nomenclature. Thank you. Now, so then my question then would be, if you want to switch, find a child, because they don't need to recline and they have no legs. Put them in that seat. <laughs> yep. Fucking fit. That's true. Grow to dolls. But a, do a child, um, like a, a, a parent, is not going to want to be separated from their child if possible. Also, well, they no don't say anything sometime. about asking. Right. <laughs> you force the child small. You can forcefully yeah. move them. This guy Getting has the punch of a thousand <laughs> sons. He can punch the spine out of a woman through an airplane seat. He can kidnap a child without anybody noticing. Yeah. That guy's completely on the airline. Huh? That guy's completely at fault. What the hell was that? Jimmy's wife just died. You die? <laughs> Never mind. She's still alive. All right. So no one's no, died. We've got proof of life. That's good. She died and then. Uh, came back to life. Yeah. <laughs> She's reincarnate. Here's uh, the other thing about this situation, though. I've seen other, other photos of people, like terrible. ladies who have a ponytail, flipping their ponytail over the seat back. Oh, cut it hanging off. Hanging down and people 100% agree. So as a person who is reclining, you should have some compassion for the person behind you. There's a the two-way street. Don't be a dick about it and punch her in the spine. And also, don't recline 100% of the way. You still have six inches of recline? Go three inches. I bet there's a happy meeting where everybody could have not had a damage. The block. seats only recline yeah. like five degrees. Yeah, it's not much. Yeah, it's not a lot. Yeah, so it's almost worthless to recline them. There are well, there are some planes that recline more than others. Yeah, but and this one looked like I mean, like the back of her seat was like in his face, pretty much like, in his face. Bam. Yeah, yeah. So like if the plane you know would have started to go down, he broken would have just, like face planted yeah. into yeah. her headrest. Exactly. So there's a way to compromise and not be a dick or a bitch. Whoever. Well, who's the bigger? Who's who's more in the wrong here? Him, and I'm only gonna say that because just because I'm looking at the video right now. So you've seen it? No. Okay. I'm I'm looking at I'm not watching the video, yeah. but I'm seeing just still shots of it. Guy, bald with a beard, me being a fellow bald man, I can 100% blame this guy. <laughs> that guy's completely wrong. Fuck him. I'll break his glasses next time I see him. Four eyes. I I don't think that Jimmy's right here. I think this is exactly the kind of thing Jimmy would do. No. 100%. Yeah, I've been I in a car would... with you road raging because someone almost cut you off. No. I yeah, would. 100% you'd be punching through her spine if, trying to grab it and pull it If back it was a stranger, you. I would just suck it up. If it was you guys, absolutely. Oh. I'd... <laughs> I'd get both feet up and I would just kick wildly. You like might hear a quad <laughs> doing that though. you got to be careful. Yeah. I'd Probably be kicking wildly like a, like a uh, horse going into the Kentucky Derby. Start you're really going to the shoot. Just. Start wailing like do a horses, child. Do horses kick going into the chute? Yeah. They can. Have you never been to a horse race? Why would I go to a horse race, Jimmy? Because you could bet Slug on the ponies. Club. I could yeah. not do that and still be happy. You could go there. You could do one dollar trifecta bets I'm, I'm, and walk out with like eight hundred bucks. That's I'm, true. I'm aware of how horse betting works. I'm just saying. Why would I go to a horse race? Why not? I mean, Donnie they're does fun. They're actually pretty fun. He does have an addictive personality. So mm. we, Thanks, he'd go in and be like, "That I have a genetic disorder yeah. that makes me addictive." <laughs> yeah, he would walk things. in there. He would bet on a pony, win or lose. He'd be like, "I got to do it again." Yeah. Did somebody? Punch... Three days later, I'm strung on heroin. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Did somebody punch that genetic disorder into you? On <laughs> Probably. I am a tall man, and I find it uncomfortable to sit on airplane seats. Yeah, it's true. But that's the other thing. Like, if you have a problem flying, you should probably pop an Ambien and fucking pass out. If you think you're going to be in a shitty seat, go to sleep. And maybe he would Don't have, care. but he couldn't recline. Learn to sleep sitting up. <laughs> what I do is I do this. 
<laughs> yeah. No, I agree. He's a, he's an ass. He's. Absolutely. I also think she did it on purpose because he was asked her to not, and that was an inconvenience for her. Be vindictive. I, I think both people were completely Ch- fault. He just children. took it to a, a level that shouldn't have been happening. Yeah. My immediate thought was that there is a happy medium, kind of like you said. Like you can recline part of the way, not all the way. And yeah. I don't know if he still would have done the same thing, but yeah. I think that's about as good as it gets. Yeah. And especially as a shorter person, so I'm assuming she is, there's a lot of room to stretch out and kind of plank out as that person versus a guy who can't because there's little to no leg room. But you, as being a shorter person, can do this and don't have to recline anymore. Now you're reclined and it's... So, it's true. I have no sympathy for either of them. <laughs> right, yeah. What about people with long hair? Chaping, you used oh, to have yeah. long hair. When I, yeah. I did. I was conscious when I went to Turkey. I was conscious of my hair, so I made sure it didn't flop over the back like you were talking about. Yep. Didn't want to get. I, I didn't want it to be cut off. Yep. Mm. In case there was somebody smart. like you behind me, and just with some scissors, somehow the, they snuck yeah. it on the plane. With the plastic oh, fork. Stab you in the spine. I've also seen pictures of people with bare feet, like reclining and putting their feet in between seats. Oh, yeah. Front of bad. Them. Even a sock or a shoe foot, that's bad, but a bare foot is. No. You it's all bad. That shoe cut or what you do at that point is you go super creepy and you start rubbing it. No, I, I thought you were going to go a different direction. You just start sucking on that toe. <laughs> Both that's... would be effective. <laughs> <laughs> well, one a little more so. One, you might lose a tooth, but they're never going to stick their foot up there again. You, 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 you sanitize it with your vodka bottle. Yes. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Just start rubbing it and be like, oh, I just love feet. I bet he takes his foot away oh, real quick. You. I just love feet, absolutely. <laughs> what, can, I, can I have a wet wipe, please? I need to wipe on this foot real quick. Actually, I need to clean myself up because seeing this foot, you. I've just soiled my pants. <laughs> it's disgusting. Sometimes that's the best answer, though, is to go to the We're most extreme, we, yeah. disturbing scenario. Unfortunately, it might backfire. He has that same fetish, and he's yeah. just like, oh, yeah, yeah. great you, plane ride. No, you have to pay for this. Yeah. Do you think and, the guy should have put his legs up over her, put his knees on the back, and then dangled his feet down? <laughs> sort of like right here. Like a harness? Oh, that would have been pretty good. <laughs> it's a safety feature. Right. I'm just helping so in you, In case of a plane crash, I'm going to protect you. You should be thanking me right that now. That guy had to be incredibly flexible. <laughs> yeah. You have to get out in the aisle, do a handstand, like go into a seat upside down, and then... <laughs> Back of the knees, dangle it down. So like the feet are hanging right here. Mm-hmm. I mean, he could have done it. I mean, yeah, actually, options. he probably, if he would have gotten up on the back of his seat, laid sideways, then kicked his feet yeah. forward, yeah, would have been able to do it. No problem. What uh, What are your thoughts on the armrests? Who gets what? Hmm. In a three-seat. I Last time I flew on the plane, Sense. I think the people in the middle kind of get the shaft. Like, it's just, it's the worst spot to be. And I just kind of give up the armrest in that case. Like, that you, you are. Guys, you guys got. You guys picked your tickets before I did. You have priority. I just. I'm gonna sit with my arms. Oof. Well, in. I will disagree. Go ahead, Jimmy. Go ahead. No, oh, I was gonna say. I think. I mean, window seat gets the window and plenty of space on the right side. Aisle seat gets the aisle and plenty of space there. Middle seat gets the armrests. That's fair too. I think. No matter when you bought the ticket, this guy changes seats. But if you're in the middle seat, what what are you doing? Window seat, you need two armrests and the window. Mm, disagree. That's a fair way to look at it. Yeah, and if I was sitting in the middle and I was sitting next to you, I'd be a happy man. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> I'm super conscious of not touching people on airplanes because one, yes. they're disgusting, and two, I, especially right I, now, I touch my arms. Yeah, coronavirus. Yeah, Ugh. but I've been on planes where I've been in the middle seat, unfortunately, and there's been Sandwich. armrest fights, and I do not let it go. <laughs> I, I put my arm just slightly up. Oh, they took their elbow back in behind me, and I just wait for the person oh, tuck mine right behind them. Just slowly push up. This is mine. Nobody says anything because we're not adults, and I've got nothing but time because my ambient or whatever I've taken hasn't kicked in yet. So, <laughs> so Donnie, you're the same man as the guy in the oh, very back absolutely. of the plane. I would, <laughs> not, I would not have shaken her seat. Dude. I would not have shaken her seat, but this is basically a, no, no. My arm was here, and their elbow tucks in and starts pushing mine away. I'll play this game all day long. I've got no patience, but you know what? I've got patience for that. I will play stupid games because I will be self-righteous about it the entire time. <laughs> what is the I, worst flight you've been on, Jimmy? The worst? I don't know. 
How many flights? Okay. Have you been on more than one flight? Yeah. Okay. I've been in Disneyland a bunch of times. I mean, that's not really that no, crazy. No, 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 I've been to Disneyland. I've been to, uh, I've been to the East Coast. So I've been on, sure. I've been on long like flights. Terrible, and, terrible and I went flights. to Kauai for my honeymoon. Whoa. <laughs> You're in Kauai? I'm not getting into this. What? <laughs> Why did you bring it up? What was this? <laughs> I knew I... Why were you there? God damn it. I already <laughs> said I was there. My honeymoon. Oh, honey... that... oh, that's right. Your honeymoon. That was actually probably the worst flight coming mm. back. That's I a remember long. Him getting married. When right? did this happen? That's a long eight hours, and it was a red eye. I can't sleep on a plane. Amy and the dude next to me passed out yeah. snoring. I'm in the middle. Can't sleep. That sucks. I got like maybe an hour of sleep. So uh, that was probably the worst, but it was awesome going there because during the day, honeymoon, excited to get yeah. there, sure. start the vacation, keep on going. But got on the way back, it was just like, uh, it's not that it was coming back. It was at night. It Just the circumstances. I wasn't able to yeah. sleep. It was at night. I literally stayed up all night. I probably got maybe an hour yeah. and it was a rough in you're, and out hour of sleep. in Norway. My goodness. I know. I know How it's going to start. Flight? Huh? How long is that flight? It's like 16 hours. Woo. Wait, yeah. from Seattle to Norway? Yeah. Okay. What, it's stop. a one stop. So, I mean, I'll be able to get up and walk around. Yeah, it's got to be about 16, 17 hours, yeah. But I think, they're, I think uh, we got bigger seats, too. Oh, nice. So, I think that'll be uh, a little bit better. I think we got the uh, emergency aisle. Sure. So, I mean, you'll have a little extra space. There's a lot of responsibility space. there. It is. I can like do it, but don't worry because uh, Big Jim's also going to be there with us. So I'll just oh, uh, here you go. Yep. Do it, I mean, Campbell. I literally say, like, if you're not comfortable being in the emergency aisle, we can move you. Can we predict? Can we go around the table and predict what happens if there is an emergency and Jimmy has to be in charge of saving people? Oh, so yeah. what they're, what they're all they're all going to die because Jimmy's going to go in oh, the fetal position and cry. Whoa, I, I want to say I would not say that. Grab the mustache. <laughs> Grab it. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say he would probably jump down the slide first to test it out and realize he can't get back up to help people. Like, I I can't, just come do down. A, no, he would do a gainer. Off of... <laughs> I'd catch people, come on down. They'd be like, well, not with that mustache. I'll jump and I'll just, flip down. <laughs> I'll just stay up here. I'm not going down to that mustache at all. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Being on a plane that long sucks. Like, even my stay yeah. for eight hours. Oh, shit. Still another ten hours to go. Yep. And I am awake. That's why I plan on downloading a um, bunch of games on the iPad mm. um, and then the Switch. Invest in a, in a battery pack thing. Yep. Yes. Yep. Most yeah. planes will have the plug-in. Most. But some You'd don't. think, yeah. yeah. Just in case your seat is broken. <laughs> right. I would definitely invest in a 40,000 milliamp. Something crazy. Yep. Just to charge everything up. And Derek, what's the worst flight you've been on? Uh, the worst flight would probably be the one that I had from Fresno to Seattle on a little, like, turboprop. And it <laughs> the turbulence was so terrible, the entire flight, seatbelt light never came off. And it was, it was a pretty empty flight, so I had the whole row to myself. But when we first boarded, there was an elderly woman, probably close to 80, that was sitting next to me somehow was separated from her friend well the you know they're like oh it's an open flight sit where you want so she beelined over to her friend to sit next to her friend also another like elderly woman around 80 at some point in the flight the turbulence hit and it was just like a free fall to the point where Everyone on the plane was screaming, except for the two old ladies who were laughing hysterically. <laughs> and I just remember thinking, you bitches, just because you've already lived your life and you don't care about dying, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that flight was intense. But I just remember that because they just thought it was the greatest thing ever. Everyone else is screaming and they're just laughing hysterically. Just a roller coaster ride, right? Oh, yeah. You just dropped 17,000 feet. Who cares? It was intense. What a fun trip. It was intense. I think I remember specifically not being, I'm not a religious person, but I think I remember specifically saying, oh, so this is how you're going to kill me, God, huh? <laughs> Way to go. I think my worst one was from Munich to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. That leg. Because it was uh, kind of the same situation where it's like, right away, first of all, I was having problems with the little uh, TV in, on my the headrest in front of me mine was the only one on the plane this plane was 
two stories. It was one of those huge air buses or whatever yep. it was. So. Mm-hmm. Mine was the only one that was black. Everyone else was watch- watching movies fine and everything. <laughs> and then immediately, as I'm trying to figure it out, the guy in front of me just launches his chair back into my face. <laughs> and But luckily it was the same kind of situation where there was a lot of um, empty seats. And um, luckily I was just able to move over one. And This guy, the guy that launched his chair back into me too, tied his uh, the arms of his sweater around the back of the seat to like make like a... A head, like, like some sort of, yeah, like a cover for his face, and like, but also it, so his head wouldn't move. Right. Well, that's genius. <laughs> but his, his, his sleeves are dangling in my face yep. too, and like, uh, so you should have been tied like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just wham, tighten yeah. that bitch. And there's Tight. a lot of turbulence on that plane. Or, yeah, I, I thought that a larger plane would not be affected by turbulence as much, but. They're worse. I was wrong. Yes. It's just like boats and right. seasickness. No, it's it's magnified when you're in a jet yes. boat because it's right. People can't. It's a visual gag. So <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake. Tie that sweater into the tightest knot you could possibly do. Oh. <laughs> just keep just on flailing his arms around. I can't breathe. Take the brochure. Put it in the middle. Tie it. Yep. <laughs> take the sweater. Take the like the newspapers or whatever that they the magazines. Stick them into the sleeve. See, you're so totally that guy too. No, tie tie each individual <laughs> sleeve off. So when he he unties it, no problem. But then he puts it on. It's like, oh no, oh no, the sleeves are tied nuts. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Uh, All right. I was gonna say real quick that Donnie would know a lot about boats since he, when he moved down here from Alaska, he canoed everything. That's oh, right. that's true. So that is true. We actually call it a, a do canoe, a double canoe, a do canoe. Do canoe. You have to put them on the uh, the tires of your of your big right. Otherwise, you can't make it down to the states. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I mean, I got the canoes in the backyard if you want to see them. If you don't believe me, Jimmy. Do canoe. Yeah, do canoe. A double canoe. <laughs> Du canoe. Is yeah, that French? A, yeah, French Canadian. <laughs> All right, Chapin, what's your next question? All right, let's move on here. Um, so you mentioned earlier when we were on the plane, or you're, if you're on the plane and one of us is sitting in front of you, Jimmy, and you're like thrashing your legs around, and Donnie said, don't pull your quad again because you're, you're an athletic dude, no. right? <laughs> you, you blew out your quad doing an athletic event. I did. So Thank wait, you. How did you tear your quad? Soccer. Mm, that's not athletic. I think he weakened it, and then he tried to race you, and then it just... Completely... Oh, no, he went to the doctor before the race. It was oh, okay. Cool. It, was, it was healed in 110%. That's why he thought he could beat me. Hey, it he, felt good. He re-injured it. Right. Wait, did he go to the same doctor that he went to about his finger that he broke? Oh. Nope. Never did went he, to a doctor or for his that. ankle that he broke? Or How strained? Or... Not broken. <laughs> I think my swelling has finally gone down after like six months. Amy looked at it the other day. She's like, "Is that your ankle? Is it still big?" And I go, "Yeah." She looks. She goes, "My God, it looks so bad." And I'm like, "That's eh, cartilage. It's 